Welcome, my friends. Here we are on another cheap-ass beer review with Dr. D. No doubt about that. Now for our sampling pleasures today. Let's see what we have for the cheap-ass beer. Oh, we have the Yingling Brewing Company located in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. This is the traditional lager. It checks in at 4.5% alcohol by volume, and the IBUs are a whopping 12. Yeah. Now, this is a Julian date code on the bottom. I didn't take the time to decipher it, but I'll tell you what. The beer distributors are pretty good about rotating the stock, so I have no doubt this is about as fresh as you're going to get. <laughs> hey, what do we have here? Dr. Dave Cheap Ass Beer Review Glassware. No doubt about it. Well, we have a 16 ounce can and we have a 14 ounce glass. So you do the math. Ooh, I don't remember it being a copper color like that. That is a dark color for a lager, isn't it? That is a dark color. Yeah, I've had this beer a couple times before, and there's a long story behind it. Uh, many, many years ago, this beer was not available in Ohio. It was kind of a cult beer because people would go into Pennsylvania and they'd come back with this beer and people would try it and say, oh, I like that. Why isn't it available here? And then once we finally got it, I don't know, it was just disappointing because I didn't really like it that much. <laughs> I like it better on tap than I do out of the can or bottle, but... Um, I don't know. It's just one of those beers we're going to talk about. I haven't had it for a really long time. And as you can see, it poured out a very beautiful copper color with a tan colored foam on there. Now, it might look off white, but I'm sitting right here. It is definitely more of a tannish color than a whitish color. It's got some carbonation flowing up from the bottom, although not a lot. It's got some. Let's see what kind of aroma we have. Hmm, very malty. Roasted malt is what I'm getting in here. Now, I know this is brewed with Cascade hops, but I'm picking up a lot of malt in here. That's about all I'm getting is some uh, roasted malt. So it's going to be interesting. I haven't had this beer for a long time, but I'm going to thank the brewers there at Yingling Brewery in uh, Pottsville, Pennsylvania, because I don't care if it's mass produced or brewed one batch at a time. Brewing beer is a lot of hard work. I don't care what anybody says. So cheers to them and cheers to you at home, no doubt. I'm not getting too much in there except for that roasted malt, and it's not prevalent. It's not right up front smacking you in the face. This beer would not be offensive to anybody. It's not flavorful, though. It's it's um, it's just a very malty beer. I don't know. If you like malty beer, then this is the beer for you. It's got lovely aromas to it, though. I can't say anything good, and I can't say anything bad. I, I would say this is a... Um, Middle of the road beer. It's uh, a light bodied beer. It's got medium carbonation. Ah, what else can I tell you? I, have, I don't know what to say. Um, I don't remember this beer being this dark, though. I just don't. Uh, of course, this is not a beer I drink on a regular basis, and I haven't had it in a number of years. Uh, I had it have had all their beers when they become available. I've had the red. They have a red beer. They have an Oktoberfest. They have a golden. They have a light. I've tried them all, and they're not offensive. To me, they're not offensive. They don't stand out in any particular way, good or bad. Uh, but i tell you the good part about this. Let me tell you the good part. At my local Walmart, this sells for $20.99 for a 24-pack of 12-ounce cans. So, let's. where's my calculator? So, you always are going to take the money. You take the money, which is 
and you're going to divide it by the number of cans, which in this case is 24, and you're going to find out that this is 87 cents per can. And that's what makes this a cheap-ass beer. 87 cents a can, what? What do you want? That's, that's cheap-ass beer. <laughs> yeah, in, 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 at least in my opinion, a dollar or less, that's some cheap-ass beer. A dollar for a beer, that's some cheap-ass beer. Yeah, and you can get down as low as 40 cents I've seen beer. Yeah, that's a real cheap-ass beer. Yeah, but this is this is decent. This is not offensive. This would be good for that backyard barbecue, the picnic beer, and four and a half percent. It's not going to get you lit up unless you drink them really fast. And uh, yeah, I guess anything will get you lit up if you drink it fast enough. But uh, what the hell? Life is short. You got to be happy, right? <laughs> Yeah, if I went to uh, if I went to a bar, and um, this was on the menu and not much else, I'd order it. Yeah, I'd, I'd get it. It's not offensive at all. I find it uh, find it decent. Yeah, for sure. So with that said, I, I would give this. Uh, I, I think I'm gonna be forced to give it five out of five stars because I can't find anything wrong with it. It's not offensive. You know, I've had plenty of beers that are offensive. No doubt. Uh, I don't want to tell you about them. But, yeah, I've had plenty of beers that say, oh, my God. Yeah. Now, this has been out on the counter for, you know, maybe about 10 minutes. So it's not ice cold and it's not offensive. And that's that's the main criteria right there because a lot of beers, you have to drink them ice cold or, man, you're going to be sorry. But this is not one of those beers. So, yeah, I'm going to have to give it five out of five stars. So I'm going to tell you again, life is short, be happy. <laughs> Until we meet again, here's wishing all of you the very best of goodbyes. And as always, cheers.